Hello YouTube! Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit in your head in about five seconds. Now this will hopefully help you out if you travel abroad. Um, in most of the world they do use Celsius, not Fahrenheit, so this will kind of help you fit in. Now most of the time you've probably seen in the past this formula which shows you that to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit you take Celsius, you multiply it by nine-fifths, and then you add 32 degrees. Now here's the thing. If you're, you know, if you're abroad and you're talking to somebody, you can't write this down and do it. Now, if you have the time to write it down and do it this way, you could really just look it up on your phone. So I think this formula is actually pretty much useless at this point with, you know, the invention of the smartphone. However, if you are talking to somebody, you know, it is a bit rude to take out your phone and look up the temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a pretty easy way that you can convert Celsius to Fahrenheit in your head with just a few basic tricks. And like I said, with my experience, I've been able to do pretty much any temperature switch in about five seconds. And here it is. So, what I usually start with is I usually start with zero degrees Celsius to 32 Fahrenheit. Because I assume this you already know. This is kind of very common. This is where, of course, water freezes. Okay? So, zero Celsius equals 32 Fahrenheit. Now, we do use the basis of this formula, um, but I will just show you in a slightly simpler way. So, the basis is, of course, that for every five degrees Celsius you increase, you increase nine degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Now, I like to do it in tens, so I say for every 10 degrees Celsius you go up, you go up 18 degrees Fahrenheit. So, zero to 32, like I said, I assume we all know. The next one would be you add 10 to Celsius, so zero to 10, and you add 18 to 32, so 32 to 50, okay? So that's pretty easy to remember as well. So if you know zero, 32, then you go up 10 and 18, 10, 50, you go up another 10, that would be 20 to 68, and then another 10, 30 to 86. Now these are the only numbers I actually know by heart, but if you don't know them by heart, you can just add 10 and 18. But I recommend memorizing this. Like I said, 0 and 32, you already know. 10 to 50 I think is pretty easy. So really you only need to memorize 20 to 68 and 30 to 86. And if you can memorize those two numbers, this will be quite easy. So, the next step is fives, okay? So, if it's between 10 and, you know, 20, um, you just go up another 5 uh, in Celsius, so 10 to 15, and then 9 in Fahrenheit, 50 to 59, okay? So, you can do that from 20 to 25, and then, of course, you know, 35 from 30. Um, so, that will give you the fives, but, of course, most numbers do not end in a 0 or 5. Now, Getting rid of fractions, I think it's a bit confusing to memorize the fractions. The way you're going to want to do it after the fives is not nine-fifths, but actually in terms of two, okay? So for every one Celsius, you go up or down, change the Fahrenheit by two degrees, okay? So from 10 to 50, when you go 10 to 11, add two. So 52, it rounds up to 52, that is correct. If you go from 10 to 12, that means you go up two, so add four. 54 degrees, okay? Same way if you're going backwards. Since we know 15 is 59, if we go down 1, that's 14, so subtract 2. 57, go from 14 to 13, subtract 4, 55, okay? So with just these three simple tricks, you pretty much can do any number very quickly, okay? And I will show you a few examples. But just remember, the tens are in terms of 18, so 0 to 10, you increase 18, and then if you go from 10, to 15, you know, five more, you increase by nine, and then the next two, you would, ingest, you would increase by two degrees each, and that would be same if you went backwards from, you know, 20, if you were doing like 19 or 18, you go back two or four, and it really is as simple as that. So I will give you an example. I will just randomly scroll and show you a few examples. Okay, so I will scroll now, and I get to eight degrees. So as I said, we know 10 is 50. It's two below. So you subtract, 2 times 2 is 4, so 50 minus 4 is 46. It's really that simple. Okay, I'll do another one. You keep scrolling. Looks like I got 28. Again, we know 30 is 86 because that's one of the two numbers we need to memorize. You subtract 4, 86 minus 4 is, 40, oh, or is 82. Um, I'll go back up. We got 3, okay, so that's a harder one. But we'll go from 5. We know 0 is 32. We, sub we add 9 to get to 5, so we're at 41. And then 3 is less than 5 by 2, so we subtract 4, it's 37. 
It really is that easy. I'll just do a few more to show you. Uh, we get to 13, so you want to go that from 15. We know 10 is 50. You add 9, so 59, and it's 2 less, so you subtract 4, 55. It really is that simple. If it was 21, you would do 20 to 68. You add 2 because it's 1 higher. It's 7 degrees, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So it really is that simple. I honestly use this all the time. I've traveled many times. Um, I really enjoy traveling, and this has really helped me. It really just gives you a really quick way of knowing uh, Fahrenheit, uh, of knowing Celsius in terms of Fahrenheit. Um, and yeah, I think it um, it will help you. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed.